Well right now I am standing in one of my favourite places in the Waikato and that is Raglan. And today I'm at Raglan Area School checking out some of the cool stuff that they do. Now one of the awesome things that they do here at the school is they run a bit of a science club, usually happening during lunch times but they're putting it on especially for us so we can check out some of the experiments that they're doing and meet a few of the students. So why don't we go and see what they're doing and hopefully make some explosions happen. So we've started with our science experiments and I'm at our first table. Oh, there's stuff floating around. What are your guys' names? Come on. Oh, Ja. Come on. <laughs> Did you do guys just swap names then? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> okay, so what are you doing? What, what's your experiment that you're working on at the moment? Um, making tea bags float. Okay, how do you do that? Um, you just light the top on fire and the heat rises and makes it float. Oh my gosh, so is this a kind of deconstructed tea bag that you're holding right there? Yeah. Yeah, okay cool. And then you, what are you doing right now? Oh, setting it on fire? <laughs> How long does it usually take to go up? Oh wow. Far out. So is this all the kind of stuff? Hey! <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> There's so much going on in this class and now we're at another station at the Science Club. What's your name? I'm Dougal. What's your name? I'm Cameron. Cool. And your name? I'm Anya. Nice to meet you guys. So what are you working on at the moment? What's um, happening here? Wave. We're reflecting yeah. waves. Okay. Cool. And so and what, what sort of equipment do you have to use to do that? Do you know? Um, a ripple tank. Yeah. And curvy bits of metal. Yeah. And light. And some light as well. And so what happens when you turn it on? Makes effects for waves and the slower it goes, the bigger the waves oh. form. Wow, that's the really interesting. Goes, the smaller they are. Yeah. So when do you guys usually have this um on your Friday. when do you guys usually have this science club? Um, um every Friday. Yeah, and at, at lunch times? Um yeah. Yeah, and so is this how many people usually do it guys? No, no. No, not no. really. <laughs> They just come to Wag School. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so are you guys part of that science club then? Yeah. What other sort of stuff do you guys usually work on? Uh, exploding things. Yeah. Using acid. Yeah. Is, that, is that your favourite stuff? Yeah. Exploding things and using acid? I'm yeah. scared of it. <laughs> yeah, it is a little bit scary. Um, what's your favourite experiment that you've ever done? Uh, probably the lighting the bubbles on fire. Yeah? I like the Ooh. hovercraft made of balloons. That sounds oh, awesome. Yeah, that cool. Bottle caps. Popping bottle caps. Wow. <laughs> so much cool stuff happening here. Well, why don't we check out the waves and then move on to another station. Alrighty. Hey, Min, what's your name? I'm Nice to meet you. Can you tell me what you're doing at the moment? Uh, we're just making some acid bubbles out of this tube coming out. We need a fire to pop the bubbles. Oh wow, okay, let's see if that works, eh? Oh, so it's popping away. What have you got in your test tube there? Um, acid and magnesium. And magnesium as well? Man, so cool doing all these experiments. Do you like going to Raglan Area School? Yes. Oh, very cool. So all those bubbles are popping away simply by using acid, magnesium and a little bit of fire as well. Very cool. So much exploding stuff going on here. Well, we're at our final station in the science club and it looks like the most exciting one. So what are you guys doing here? Um, we are, um, we are like making the, these things explode. How do you do that? Um, you, um, you, um, have a, a tube thing and you pour acid into it. Yeah. And you grab, a, um, the top of one of these lids and put some, like, some of that stuff in and um, then sort of you, baking powder? Yeah, and then you tip it over and then just let it bubble up and then it'll explode. Wow, sounds cool. Can you show us how to do it? Okay. Sweet, let's do it. It 
was mental. There was so much stuff going on in that science room and as you heard, it was quite noisy. I think there were about 41 students in there apparently, so it was psycho. It's so cool to see the amazing stuff that they were doing, uh, popping acid, uh, tea bags that lit up and flew up in the air, all such interesting stuff. I definitely learned a lot about science in that whole lot there. So don't forget if you've got your own science club or some kind of club that you have at lunchtime, make sure you write into us on PO Box 411 Matamata or email us via the website mishmashtv.co.nz and we could be coming and checking it out at your school very soon.